Hey, today I'm going to show you how to repair part of your bar and line setup, uh, which is this part here that your main steering lines connect to. I've had to replace this because, as you can see on the inside of there, from time to time your bar is constantly working away and it ends up snapping your bar and lines. Evidently you want to have a look at this before you're on the water just to make sure that they don't go on you like they did me. On the ends of your bar you get these bobbins um, one, one there, one there and then one here. I've not been able to put these bobbins back on because for some strange reason I cannot get the line out of there. I thought of drilling it out but don't see any point of that. What you need to make sure when you're replacing these that you get the same length on the right and the left hand side um, and the reason for that being is you've got different bar lengths you'll not be steering straight. Okay so as you can see I've replaced one there already and I've left myself with a bit of extra length just to make sure if I want to adjust that knot there I can do however there are adjustments all the way up and down your line just to let you know, I didn't know until removing uh, the rubber sleeve that comes on here that there's actually, th I think there's three three connections here, so there's one, that's one piece, two, and then the third here. So what I advise you not to do uh, is take all this linking apart. If, if you want to you can, but it's probably easy to just disconnect it from the first connection here and replace this part here. Obviously if you need to replace any of those again make sure that you get exactly the same length of rope that you've got because um, as, you, as you see all three pieces come apart. Um, currently got mine on the outside not away from the bar um, because that's the best power setting I've discovered if you bring it in too far just don't find that the RRD bar on a 2009 does very well so anyway I'm going to go and replace the other side so what you need is obviously you need your sail line don't forget your bar loop that would normally go on because uh, if you get that you will not be tying your bar and lines up properly after a session so what you need to do You've got two holes here, um, my suggestion is that I found is thread it on the one on the inside of the bar first, hang your bar up, it always makes it use. If you've already cut a length off your uh, rope line, uh, melt the end of it, makes it a lot easier to put through. So stick it on the inside piece, thread it all the way in, okay, and then put your looper over that way. You wrap the cable over the bar, do it the other way, so over the bar like that, so you've got your tensioner there, and back over, but when you come back over, make sure that you put another loop through your bar tensioner, if you don't, this will just end up sliding around the bar, okay? So. When you stick it back through, this leading hole, you need to know that you're coming back up at an angle, so you're going to come back out of this hole here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So hold this line straight here, poke your burnt end in, and you might find you'll need a tool, like a small scriber or something, to shove it up the hole. Pardon the expression. So once you've got enough line in, you can sometimes feed it through. As you can see, it's going up nicely. Okay. Once you've got a hold of it, you can pull that fairly tight. And as you can see, it will probably sit right where your bar and line sat before, so you'll not notice that it's come out. You'll not need that anymore. What you need to, need to do on the outside line is make sure that the length 
for where you tie your first knot is exactly the same on this side. Okay, so what I've got is handily enough a pair of scissors with a measuring gauge on. So it's roughly about three centimetres from the tip of the bar to where the first knot is. So tie a knot. Sorry, that was for the inside line. Sorry, the outside line. So, so look. Okay, we need to adjust that slightly. Bring the bar down. Okay, so as you can see. Around about on the three mark. So if you pull that tight, okay, you'll be left with a permanent knot. Once you make sure that the end of that uh, has been burnt off. Okay, so what you can then do is Grab the cord of where your outside steering edge bar went, slip it back over, and there you have it. A nice sturdy outside line. Um, I'm not going to put my foam coverings back on because I want to try these adjustments a bit more, so it's entirely up to you. You can put your foam covering back on, but you need to do that before attaching it. Um, <clears throat> but it's up to you if you want to mess with your bar and lines. Uh, and then to finish off, to cut that side off, thread it through a little bit, and then just tie a knot in the end of there. Um, parent supervision guide. Don't do this without a parent with you before you tie your knot. Melt your frayed edges a little bit. Tidy them up. Okay, tie a knot in that. You know exactly what you do there on the other side, just make sure those knots aren't loose because you don't want it pulling through your bar. Try and put some pressure on it to make sure they're not slipping first. Um, but there you have it, bar and lines replaced. Ready to go.